hi this is Tunda Wanamaker thank you for stopping by my channel today in today's video we're going to be talking about false evidence appearing real yes fear stay tuned I'll be right back welcome back you guys in today's video we are talking about fear fear is something that many people around the world struggle with fear is something that will hold you captive that will have you stagnated that will have you in a place of believing that you cannot achieve the dream that is inside of you. In today's video, I just want to give you a quick tip, just a quick acronym of how you should see yourself in the face of fear. And so when fear arises inside of you, when fear comes, then it is a direct conflict with your gift. And the reason why I say that is because if your gift and your fear or going head to head then something inside of you is believing that you cannot achieve it so that now is categorized as fear so instead of saying that you don't have what you need to get started fear makes you believe that you just can't do it so I want you in today's video just to do a little exercise instead of seeing it you know instead of just seeing it and not moving I want you to face it, to face everything and rise. That means going through this week when there's a situation where there is fear, instead of turning away from it, instead of saying, no, I don't want to do it. Because one thing about fear is you are in control of it. And when you are in control of it, no one else can move you out of it. Fear is something that is very personal. Fear is something that has to be dealt with with the person. I really can't tell you to stop fearing. I can suggest to you. And that's what I'm doing now in this video. So I want you to believe that you have the power to change the fear. Once you face everything, once you begin to align yourself with your gift inside of you, you will see that the fear never, it didn't exist. It was something that you made up in your own mind. Most of us are put in situations when we're much younger and we don't even realize that the fear that we have is not something that we even develop. It was a fear that maybe our parents put on us or a family member or some other situation. Um, I just got through talking to someone about, you know, fear of flying on a plane and flying on a plane is one of the things that I love and so I just couldn't understand how that fear would keep someone from flying and seeing such beauty but I do understand that everybody has their own personal fear but the thing that I want you to do the thing that I want you to concentrate on this week is that if that fear begins to rise this up inside of you I, at that same time I want you to have enough courage enough bravery enough strength to say no I am going to step out of my comfort zone and I am going to face fear this week. It is no longer going to hold me hostage, but I am going to grip fear by the neck and I am going to chase after my dream. It is only when we recognize the fear that the fear evaporates. And as you begin to take steps towards your dream, as you begin to release, as you begin to renew your mind, as you begin to put in positive affirmations, say, I can achieve my goals. I am a powerful being. I am a powerful creator. I have the mind of Christ. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. When you begin to feed yourself those affirmations, then that fear begins to shrink inside of you and then that person that is inside of you that higher self your best self begins to rise so this week attack fear the way it's been attacking you I am Tunda Wanamaker thank you for stopping on my channel thank you to all my new subscribers thank you for being right here right now with me in this space creating an abundant life Thank you for stopping.